Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Channel here, and today we're going to take a look at the Ruger LC9. Um, I purchased this pistol a couple years ago. Um, very, very happy with it. They do have the LC9S now. This is the old LC9 with the double action hammer fired. Let's go ahead and check the uh, chamber. Chamber is clear. Um, one of the biggest complaints that I heard about this uh, pistol, if we turn it around here, uh, a lot of people don't like that it has a safety on it. Um, safety doesn't bother me too much. I don't use it usually, um, but it's there if I need it. Um, it is real easy to uh, manipulate with your thumb. The other problem that people had with this pistol is that it had a very long trigger pull and a long reset. And that has to do with because it's a double action. Um, the trigger is very reminiscent of a revolver trigger. Um, it is very long, very steady. Um, this one doesn't stack at all. And it breaks. I mean, it's a pretty good trigger for a double action trigger, but you know, the big complaint was that you know it was it was just long and it wasn't the striker fired trigger. I really like it. Now I've heard it called the staple gun trigger, but the only thing staple gunish about it that I could really say is that when you release the trigger, it does have a little ting in it, like a, like a staple gun would. But uh, I really didn't have a problem with the trigger. Um, I did. It was real thin here, um, easier to conceal. I went ahead and put a Packmeyer grip on here. Um, just makes it a little bit more controllable, a little bit more comfortable to shoot when I take it out to the range and practice with it. Um, this I did make one mistake when I purchased this pistol, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. Now, Ruger no longer offers this double action version. They do offer the uh, LC9S. Uh, LC9S did away with the safety, and it also has a, a blade safety in the trigger, and it's a striker fired, so you got a lot shorter trigger pull. Um, we'll go ahead, you can see here you've got a loaded chamber indicator. It pops up when there's a round in the chamber. You can see your uh, trigger pull here and how long that is. Now Galloway Precision makes a aftermarket trigger for this pistol that uh, will reduce that, that length by 35% and also lightens the trigger. Your reset is a little long. You've got two clicks in order to reset the pistol. Safety. I've heard it called a tic tac safety. I mean, it's kind of kind of small there on the side there, but very positive engagement. You know, easy to manipulate. You know, easy to easy to. You know, down is up is safe. Down is fire, but very easy and, and quick to uh, activate and deactivate. Um, you pull, it's ready to go. We've got uh, standard three dot sights. Um, you can see here the, the hammer is in the cock position. So you do have a visual confirmation that the hammer is cocked and ready to go. Mag release. Mag release is. Uh, Pretty nice, free, and fairly convenient spot. A little easier to get to if I took the uh, the grip I've got off there off, but it works. Uh, it does have a seven round magazine, and it does have a magazine safety in it, which means it deactivates the trigger when the magazine is out of it. Now, there's a lot of people that, that don't like that. You know, what if you're in a firefight and, and that, that magazine drops? Well, yeah, you can't fire it. However, if you're in a firefight or you're, you're in a hand-to-hand -hand combat and that magazine button gets pushed and it comes out a little bit, it still fires. It won't pick up the next round, but you still have at least one, one round to go off. Now the mistake I made on this is that uh, I don't normally buy myself nice things. Um, this one happens to be the carbon fiber finish, which was a limited edition finish. When I purchased it, I had only seen it at that one gun show, and I have not seen a carbon fiber finish of these yet. I did not realize how limited edition the carbon fiber finish was. Um, and the reason 
I don't carry it is because it does have the carbon fiber finish it on it and I'm worried about wearing it off worried about devaluing the gun uh, but that's just me I mean it's it's a tool you should use it for concealed carry I use something else for concealed carry um, but I would carry this if it was just in the black finish it's just the, the carbon fiber I thought was kind of cool at the time. I thought, well, you know, I don't buy myself nice things usually. I spent a little extra money for the carbon fiber finish. And, you know, it's, it's a great little range toy. I carry it periodically, but it's not my everyday carry. But let's take this out to the range, uh, see what kind of accuracy we can get out of it, um, see how well it fires. <laughs> Pop. There you go. <laughs> that was good. That's actually Yeah, for a double action trigger, it's long, but it's consistent and smooth. Is that what you were saying about the people talking smack about it? Actually, has a pretty clean trigger. Yep. You know, if that trigger was on a revolver. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of funny because he. Yeah, I, I don't know when it's about to snap. I don't notice that too well. But first I fired up, what do I do? There you go. Okay. Oh crap. That's a I like it. Can I put a couple more through? Sure. Go, 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 go. Keep doing it again. I'm not used to uh not used to double action, so uh you keep forgetting, like, oh crap, has a broken yet. So, yeah, uh, my first impressions, I think this is, uh, with my experience, I think it's a pretty good pistol. The trigger is actually not as bad as I was expecting, so I don't know what people are getting mad about. Doesn't have much muzzle flip either. It's pretty nice. Ruger LC9. Just a little rubber grip here. Really helps control it. It mitigates the flip. The little thing just runs. Okay. So All right, we're back from our range trip, and uh, I really uh, enjoyed the range trip. Had a buddy of mine shoot it. He really enjoyed this gun, too. Had one malfunction, and uh, the malfunction had nothing to do with the gun. Um, this is a perfect example of why you should check your ammunition before you load it up, especially your self-defense ammunition. 
This is the round that uh, hung up on me when we were trying to uh, test this pistol. And it serves as a really good example as to why you need to check your self-defense ammo to make sure you don't have any factory ammo that, you know, something like this that won't feed. Um, that's the reason the gun failed. It wasn't a gun problem. It was an ammo problem. Um, I did have one other almost hang up. If you watch the video, you notice it, it uh, chambers very slowly on one of the hollow points. But I think one of those hollow points is also a range pickup. You know, I was at the range. I was just trying to make sure hollow points and stuff would function through the rifle. I had some that I had picked up uh, on the range that had been discarded for one reason or another. And one of those rounds was a little slow chambering, but it did chamber. But uh, everything I've thrown at this gun, you know, factory ammunition, reload ammunition, that's good ammunition, has fired really, really well. Now the accuracy at 7 yards on this pistol is uh, pretty good. I can adjust those sights a little bit. They are adjustable. Uh, looks like I need to adjust them to the left a little. Uh, maybe uh, down just a little bit. But uh, overall, very, very happy with the gun. It shoots and functions flawlessly. The trigger's not bad. It, yeah, you may, have, may take a little getting used to. Um, the one nice thing about these pistols is there's a lot of these double action ones out there. A lot of people have either upgraded to the S or the Striker fired pistol. Or, you know, they just simply didn't like the double action, uh, especially those people who don't shoot a lot of revolvers. I don't mind double action. It's a discipline that I practice. It's a discipline I think you need to know because there are different trigger disciplines out there. You know, if you're in a situation where double action is the only thing you have, you really need to practice it and know how to use that. Uh, especially if you're doing a revolver and it's double action only and, you know, there is no, you, there is no single action or you don't have time to keep cocking that hammer, it's a really good idea to learn the discipline of the double action trigger. Um, it was good enough for uh, hundreds of years, it's still good enough now, and this is really a decent double action trigger. But this is uh, 45 Alpha Charlie ch Channel, signing out, Ruger LC9, I give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.